Hello and welcome back to Love Lessons Lounge, the spot for leveling up your love life. If you're new here, buckle up buttercup, because we're about to dive deep into all things love, relationships, and everything in between. Today, we're spilling the tea on what your man wants in the bedroom. Get ready to take some notes because these 10 things are going to blow his mind. Just kidding, kinda. Remember, every relationship is different. So use these tips as a starting point to spice things up and have some fun. Okay, first up, let's talk positions. It's like ordering pizza. You don't have to get pepperoni, right? Variety is the spice of life. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try something new. And listen, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Start small, maybe suggest a slight change to your usual routine. You'd be surprised what a little shift in perspective can do. Communication is key here, babes. Talk to each other, figure out what you both enjoy, and don't be afraid to laugh if things get a little, shall we say, it's all part of the fun. Remember, exploring new positions is all about connection and finding what feels good for both of you. So get creative, have fun, and let those freak flags fly. Next up, let's talk about using our words. And no, I don't mean starting an argument mid-romp. I'm talking about letting your man know what feels good. Guys, they're not mind readers, no matter how much we wish they were. So tell him what you like. A simple yes or right there can go a long way. And don't be afraid to take charge. Direct him, guide him, let him know what you want. Trust me, confidence is sexy. Think of it like this. You're leading him on a treasure hunt to pleasure. Give him those little hints, those encouraging words, and watch him rise to the occasion. It's all about creating a fun, open, and comfortable space where you both feel free to express yourselves. So speak up, ladies. You won't regret it. All right, ladies, this one's important. Don't be afraid to make the first move. Gone are the days where we wait around for our man to initiate everything. Surprise him. Show him that you're feeling frisky and take the reins. It could be something as simple as a flirty text during the day or a spontaneous kiss when he least expects it. Trust me, knowing that you're into him and that you're down to get down will be a turn on. And hey, it doesn't always have to lead to full-blown bedroom shenanigans. Sometimes just a little bit of playful initiation can go a long way in keeping the spark alive. Remember, relationships are a two-way street. So show him you care, show him you're interested, and watch how much he appreciates it. Okay, this one's for the adventurous couples out there. Don't be afraid to spice things up with a little something extra. And no, I'm not talking about inviting another person into the bedroom. Unless that's your thing, then you do you. I'm talking about toys. And no, it doesn't have to be anything too intimidating. Start small, explore together, and see what sparks joy, pun intended. Remember, it's all about having fun and trying new things together. And hey, you might even discover a hidden side to your partner. Communication is key here, just like with everything else we've talked about. Talk to each other, set boundaries, and make sure you're both comfortable with whatever you decide to try. So go ahead, get a little playful, a little adventurous, and see where the night takes you. All right, this one seems like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how often we forget to compliment our partners. And I'm not just talking about telling him he looks nice in that shirt, although you should totally do that too. I'm talking about complimenting him in the bedroom. Let him know what he's doing that you like. Tell him how good he looks, how strong he feels, how much you enjoy being close to him. Positive reinforcement, people. It works wonders. When you make him feel good, he's more likely to want to please you in return. It's a win-win situation, so don't hold back. Let those compliments flow freely and watch as his confidence and your connection skyrockets. Speaking of confidence, let's talk about how crucial it is in the bedroom. There's nothing sexier than a woman who knows what she wants and isn't afraid to go for it. Embrace your body, own your sexuality, and let your inner goddess shine through. Trust me, your man will find it irresistible. And if he doesn't, then he's missing out. Confidence isn't about being perfect. It's about being comfortable in your own skin. 
It's about owning your desires and expressing them without shame or hesitation. So ditch those insecurities at the bedroom door and let your true self shine. Believe me, your man will thank you for it. All right, let's talk about setting the mood. The bedroom shouldn't feel like a sterile operating room. We gotta set the stage for romance, people. And no, you don't need to go full on Fifty Shades of Grey with it. Unless that's your thing, then by all means, go wild. It's the little things that count. Dim the lights, light some candles, put on some music that gets you both in the mood. Create an atmosphere that feels inviting, sensual, and just a little bit magical. Think about it. You don't eat your favorite meal on a paper plate, do you? No. You set the table, you use your fancy dishes, you create an experience. The same goes for intimacy. So put in a little effort, set the stage, and watch as the sparks fly. Okay, this one's super important. Don't take things seriously. Life is short and so is sexy time. So have some fun with it. Laugh, be silly, don't be afraid to make a fool of yourself. The more relaxed and playful you are, the more comfortable your man will feel too. Remember, intimacy is supposed to be enjoyable. It's a chance to connect with your partner on a deeper level, to let go of your inhibitions and just be yourselves. So embrace the silliness, embrace the awkwardness, and most importantly, embrace each other. We've talked about communication throughout this video, but it's so important that it deserves its own chapter. You guys, communication is the foundation of any healthy relationship, especially when it comes to intimacy. Don't expect your man to read your mind. Tell him what you want, what you like, what you don't like, and be open to hearing his desires too. Remember, it's a two-way street. The more you communicate, the better you'll understand each other's needs and desires, and the more fulfilling your intimate life will be. So speak up, be honest, and don't be afraid to ask for what you want. Last but not least, let's talk about affection. And no, I'm not just talking about PDA, although a little bit of that never hurt anyone. I'm talking about those small everyday gestures that show your man you care. A simple touch, a hug, a kiss on the cheek. These little acts of affection go away in keeping the spark alive. And don't underestimate the power of cuddling. Physical touch is a powerful way to connect with your partner. And it doesn't always have to lead to something more. So be affectionate, be present, and show your man that you appreciate him, both in and out of the bedroom. So there you have it, my love learners. 10 things he secretly wishes you'd do in bed. Remember, these are just suggestions. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Now I wanna hear from you. What are some things you wish your partner would do in the bedroom? Don't be shy. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to Love Lessons Lounge for more juicy relationship advice. And as always, keep those hearts open and those love lives spicy. See you in the next video.